the smooth talking, banana eating, coffee drinking, polyphonic drum recorder, peanut eating, jelly bean eating, adopted father of two vegan boys, it's your boy, totally. Five people in one body, it's Adam Josh. Morning, everyone. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Banana Show. I smoked you out. I'm going to check the live streams real quick. We're at number 114. Pause this guy. Just going to quickly check the live stream sometimes, as you guys know. I smoked you out. Yeah, we're good. We're coming in 4x4. Four four. Sometimes, um... Sometimes the live streams in the past have been known to not work. But anyway, Smoked You Out, the song that we were just listening to there, is a song that you can listen to, download for free, on adamjosh.com, if you like what you're hearing there. That's uh, an original that is, uh, it's kind of old actually, I wrote, I wrote it a long time ago. And uh, Smoked You Out is one of those songs. Let me tell you my thought process with that song. I know how to press buttons on my website. Okay. This intro track here that you're hearing. That's A. A. But it's capo on the second fret. But, um... It's just basically E, G, A. But I had the, uh, the main riff in my head first, right? Just, just the basic rhythm. And I was playing the rhythm back and forth by myself at home. And I thought, oh, well, man, wouldn't it be cool if I could have a backing track going... So then... I was, I was hearing this, this other track in my head when I was playing the rhythm, and then I was like, oh man, wouldn't it be cool if I had like a, a high-end part going... So I'm hearing these three tracks in my head, but I'm one guy. That backing... I was hearing that as clear as a bell in my head. Like, exactly as I laid it out in the song, is how I was hearing it in my head just with that one track, and I was like, when it happened, when that happens as a musician, you're like, you have two choices. <laughs> you ignore it, <laughs> or you figure out a way to record the song. At the time, I wasn't really set up for multi-track recording. So, recording this song <laughs> as I did, and it turning out the way it did, was kind of like, um, not a miracle, but Kind of over the top. Anyway, it's a morning banana show. It's one of Desiree's students at the private school. <laughs> Gave her some jelly beans. Gave Miss Desiree some Des De jelly beans and it touched Desiree's heart, so she gave me some. She's like, it touched my heart. You have to have some now. <laughs> Got the French Roast Starbucks here. Organic banana. And welcome. What can I say? The uh, last morning banana show was called I Told You So. And it's not even that I'm tired of being right. It's that um, I told you. And uh, I don't feel like I'm super intelligent. And I get embarrassed and ashamed to be the person with one eye in a room full of blind people. And it's not something that I'm proud of. Um, that look that people give me when they're like, oh, you were right. Damn it, I told you! Of course I was right! Don't you get it? <laughs> Guys like me don't put their balls on the line and their word on the line if they don't mean it. I'm not just talking to hear myself talk. I looked down between my legs and I saw a dick. <laughs> <laughs>
But whatever. You guys listen to whoever you want to listen to. Who am I? So here we are. The one thing that the me mainstream legacy media, mainstream media, media party of, of Canada, controlled by like two companies, one thing they won't tell you and won't talk about, unless it's in a negative light, is that these trucker protests that I was talking about in the last couple of morning bananas uh, have sparked similar protests in other countries. Again, I told you that <laughs> because the pattern is the pattern is like a cookie cutter pattern that will work basically anywhere. You can drive from one spot of the country to the other. So New Zealand, Australia, America are three off the top of my head that I know have had similar convoys to what we've had here in Ottawa. And then on the weekend, this last two weeks, we've had supporting convoys throughout the cities, which just means like people in trucks and big rigs are driving down the main streets of the city and honking. That's something that I couldn't have predicted. That's, that's cool. Because I just was thinking of the main the main trunk of the um, of the protest, but having supporting convoys throughout the weekends, reminding everybody in the cities of what's going on, very smart. I don't know. This is like a lot of it's organic and grassroots, but I'm just documenting it on the morning banana show and telling you guys some of these things. I think are really intelligent, like the uh, as far as protesting goes. Pro organizing a protest from one side of the country to the other and then having supporting protests and convoys throughout the city, throughout the main cities uh, that you've been into and people who support you for the convoy. I mean, that's, that's genius. I mean, the evangelical uh, pastors might be writing about this for years to come. When I was in, when I was in Bible college, we would study and talk about like effective ways of communicating to people <clears throat> to large groups, to small groups. And I'm just saying in my semi in my semi <laughs> this gives me a semi in my semi uh, professional not really professional point of view <laughs> it's genius how it's how it's been going the convoy and how it's spread worldwide worldwide convo world worldwide worldwide convoy she was a self lish shellfish self lish Selfish is like a combination of selfish and selfless. She was a selfless, selfless, selfless she, shellfish. There you go. I was making up tongue, twist, tongue twisters last night in bed with Desiree. <laughs> tongue twisting. If you want to know what we do in bed. Uh, she was a selfless shellfish. <laughs> she gave up her shell so that other peoples could have proper housing. <laughs> She was a selfish, a selfless shellfish. <coughs> Try saying that. Try saying she was a selfless shellfish and then screw up the middle word on purpose. She was a selfless shellfish. Screw up, screw it up on purpose and then try to say it. Story of my life. Screwing it up on purpose because I think it's funny. Yeah, so these are the jelly beans that Desiree got from a student. Touches my heart. Speaking of young kids and students. One second, hot off the press here. That's it. So, as some of you who follow me may know, 
I guess that's it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to judge you. I mean, um, family is opening up Baskin Robbins in town. And um, some people have been sending in resumes. This is like the fourth or fifth, maybe sixth one. We've got some sisters over here who sent in resumes. I, um, if you're watching, which they would never watch, but why would they? But if they do, I um, paper clip them together. I know your sisters. Two, three. Three. Come on now. Three. Four. Five. And today I got my fifth resume for Baskin Robbins. People that want to work there. And uh, on top of this one, first time, first time in my life, 40 years old, first time in my life I've ever seen this on a resume. And I've been hiring people since I was a teenager. I'm training people, managing people since I was in my teens. You guys know that. I may not look like a people person, <laughs> but I kind of like you guys sometimes. Anyway, first time in my life I've seen this. Right on the top of the resume. Okay, hold on. Let me get it correct. Name, address, phone number, email address. Under that, it says fully vaccinated. Hard line, and then goes into education and experience. Fully vaccinated, right on the top of the resume. They want you to know. And what's sad about that is, like, you know, I'm not blaming the kids. I'm not blaming these teenagers and the kids who want to work for us. For that, I'm just saying as a point, notice where we are. I'm not going to lie, that kind of bummed me out when I saw that. What else can we talk about? Uh, as far as you know, construction goes of those restaurants, the <clears throat> the Baskin Robbins at this point will definitely be done first. If I was to compare them, like in the construction Olympics, I wouldn't even put money on the Popeyes team at this point. I would say it's absolutely certain. <laughs> that the Baskin-Robbins crew is going to be done first. We can chalk that up to a lot of different things. <clears throat> um, and I don't really want to talk about it anymore. It's just going to sound negative, but um, if you want something done quickly and right, go do it yourself. I guess that's where we're at. It's going to happen. It's going to get built. Just a lot of snags. A lot of snags. Also, I don't eat at Popeyes. <laughs> I don't mind fixing all their stuff, but you know, it's my dad's restaurant. My dad's baby. Adopted dad's baby. The brown guy. <laughs> Smartest and coolest guy I know. I had a dream last night that I was driving a Tesla. Or about to drive a Tesla. For the first time. I'm feeling it. Help me manifest a Tesla, guys. If you watch this, think Tesla thoughts. <laughs> think me driving a Tesla. Mm hmm. I meditate a lot, you know, I meditate every day, sometimes more than once a day, and I have a, <clears throat> I have an inner working creative home that I go to when I meditate, and in the inner working creative spot that I have, that I meditate into, uh, I have a Tesla there, and, um, a Hummer, but one of the nice Hummers. <clears throat> it's not sexual, it's a vehicle. <laughs> uh, imagine meditation, you're like... <laughs> so... <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, a Hummer and um, the vehicle, like the military vehicle, and a Hellcat. It's all black on black. Hummer's black on black, but the Tesla is white with like a dark gray interior. And an airplane, like a Cessna that I can fly, and a helicopter. These are all the things that I have at my house, in my meditation space. Um, among other things, like a great view, sauna, back deck. I sit, on the, I sit in the sauna, the hot tub rather, I sit in the hot tub and just look at the mountains, the mountains in the backyard. Yeah, you know, for all the tropical things that I like, I should probably install some tropical tropical things there. Like mango trees. Anyway, so I hope that you have a meditative space like this. It's not that you escape reality. Um, it's that, um, have you heard of this expression, uh, like visualization, uh, pretending, pretending or meditating or faking it till you make it? So I've been doing that for a long time. <laughs> You know, and positive visualization, uh, it works uh, in your life. You guys, some of you know the house that I have now. <clears throat> I mean, it was uh, it was valued at a half a million dollars when I bought it four years ago. Now the market is crazy. And I'm like, to, Des to Desiree, I'm like, do you want to sell the house? Because <laughs> we can basically split a million at this point. But, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not intending to sell the house anytime soon. But... Um, the point of all that is, when it was still for sale, I sat in the house and meditated in the doorway. The sales guy was out doing something, I asked him for the keys, and I didn't tell him what I had in mind, but, you know, I went and meditated in the property, by myself, in an empty house. And you guys can say whatever you want about that, but I own the house right now. <laughs> and I don't live in an apartment, I don't live in a condo, and, uh... You know, I don't want to live in an apartment or live in a condo. I want to expand out my real estate portfolio and have rental properties. That's what I'm actively working on. Uh, have more rental properties, I should say. Technically, I guess I'm a landlord. 2020, 2021, 2022 has been wild. So yeah, uh, I'm... I recommend a meditative day. You know, I've been through things. You know, my parents are divorced. Biological parents are uh, uh, alcoholics, you know. I've uh, been through addiction and mental health issues. You know, I've been arrested multiple times in holding cells, beat up by the Hamilton Mountain Police, which is a whole side issue. Um, you know, I've been through things. I haven't done any hard time. I'm not like a hardened criminal. Um, but, you know, I've... Uh, I've definitely done a bunch of things that I'm not proud of, and that made me who I am today. And uh, I'm definitely not the one. If you're looking for somebody to mess around with, I'm definitely not that guy. Um, so, what I'm saying is I meditate <laughs> every day, uh, sometimes multiple times a day, and uh, it keeps me in check from myself, and it helps me to positively visualize and create this life and make the dream life that I was telling you about earlier a reality in this life if you can't visualize it if you can't even imagine yourself having having something like don't ever expect to have it you need to if you can't love yourself then you can't expect other people to love you so the change has to start in your life in your own heart words to live by further from this cage also by Adam Josh. <clears throat> kind of a full circle moment here, bring it back to the song. If I couldn't hear the song, I could never play the song for you now. So I heard it, I visualized the song, and I made the song happen in a 3D space. And as a musician, you repeatedly do that. Song after song after song. Every song here, every song here on my website, is an example of flexing that muscle. It's an example of practicing and putting into action 
channeling things from the ethereal plane into the third dimension. And I visualized it in my mind, in my heart, in my spirit first and brought it into this third dimension so I could flex on you on the Morning Banana Show and show you it. A full circle moment. Brought to you by AdamJocks.com Follow me on Twitter, at AdamJocks. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye-bye.